What's going on everyone? My name's Eric and today on the channel I have the pleasure of showing you all this. This is a 2008 Dean Z exotic wood top guitar. Specifically the exotic wood in question here is this nice piece of babinga. It looks like it's a veneer but it is a very nice veneer as well. Um, this one's made in 2008. It's a Korean Dean and as I've said about these early Korean Deans they are fantastic. Definitely get one if you can. But you might be wondering about the title of this video, and specifically the Dean Z and the Dean V have landed Dean guitars in a little bit of hot water, specifically from Gibson, because those offerings from Dean, the Z or the Z and the V, look a lot like the Gibson Explorer and the Gibson Flying V with a few different changes, but essentially the bodies are pretty well identical. So without getting too far into the lawsuit, as far as I know, um, these are not being made anymore, like I just checked on Dean's website, and these are not on there at all. You can only get the very metal looking versions of these, which are which have different names, but they're in the same vein as an Explorer and a V. The lawsuit that Dean Guitars faces about these guitars is not the point of the video. The point of the video is highlighting how cool and unique this guitar is, the early Deans, and of course we're gonna set this thing up and mod it, and we're gonna get this thing off. This thing is supposed to help with string pull and with keeping the string straight and tuning, and yeah, I don't know. I've never really experienced any sort of tuning instability with string through tunematic guitars. And as I've shown you all many times on the channel before, there are many ways to keep your strings from going out of tune and having to avoid throwing one of these on your guitar. So without further ado, let's get this thing set up. Let's put some new pickups in it and let's get this thing off the headstock. Here we go. changing parts on your guitar and upgrading it or getting things back to factory look, sometimes you don't have to change everything as I said before. This case, we're not going to be changing the anchors. And after taking both anchors out and measuring them both off camera, the new anchors here that came with the Tone Pros Bridge, they are longer than what is already in there. These are not going to actually sit in the guitar all the way. So we're just going to leave it as is and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Here we have the Dean Z exotic wood top guitar all done up here. Once again, this is a made in Korea version and it is one of the most fine examples of the early import Dean guitars here. So now let's talk about some of the specs on this guitar. We have a mahogany body and we have mahogany neck on this guitar here. This guitar also has the Babinga veneer top on here as well. We have this cream body binding, looks really awesome, all tied in. Kind of looks really classy and really classic. It's really super nice. We have the brand new Tone Pros bridge here, just so we have kind of like a matching hardware look from factory. We have the dime bag traction knobs as well, very easy to make. The tone knob is also disconnected from the circuit. We got the brand new pickups here. We got a Seymour Duncan Dimebucker in the bridge and we have a DiMarzio Air Norton in the neck. If you're not a fan of the 59 in the neck, like how Dimebag had his, or if you're not a fan of the DiMarzio Super Distortion, the Air Norton is a killer alternative and it pairs very, very well with the Dimebucker, which you'll hear in just a minute here. We got a rosewood fingerboard with, again, we got some more binding on here. This guitar overall is just super duper class. Abalone block inlays rounded out by 22 nickel frets here. We also have the nice Dean headstock here. You can see it has a bit of damage. It's seen a little bit of better days. And if you get this under the right light, there is a ton of scratches all over the guitar. But for a guitar this old, it is holding up very, very well. We have Grover tuners here, just like we have on pretty well every high spec Dean guitar. We got rid of the string retainer and the string guide here. Again, I really haven't had any tuning issues like this. If you stretch your strings out like this for the most part, especially on a hardtail guitar, it's gonna stay in tune with the current break angle of the headstock and how the strings pull and everything like that. I haven't had any real issues with these guitars like going out of tune or the strings slipping or anything like that. Other people's mileage may vary. And you're gonna see on camera how I actually got rid of the holes and made this look as clean as possible for basically the tools that I have and the facility that I have. I taped off the holes, I then threw some wood filler in there. I then sanded down the excess wood filler to make it as level as possible. Once it was all dried up, I then went in with a permanent marker and then kind of colored it black. That is a quick 
easy fix that you can do. And then as you can see here, there are a few holes that are kind of left over. You might be able to see if the right light is on it. If you can live with it, sweet. But if you want to fix this and have this looking factory the proper way, it's going to be a huge hassle that which involves sanding the paint off of this, then finding a new logo for the guitar as well, you know, painting it black again, sealing it, glossing it and everything and having the logo in there. It's a giant process and if you're not willing to put in the time or the actual money to have someone else do it, it might not be worth it and this might be your best option as and well. And the final thing about this guitar, it goes without saying, this one has that V-shaped neck which is probably one of my favorite feeling necks of all time. It's just a calling card for these Dean guitars. It really solidifies them and makes them feel so much more unique than pretty well any other guitar in my opinion. If you haven't tried one, Go find a Dean guitar with a V-shaped neck or a Washburn Dimebag series with a V-neck if you're able to find one and play it and you will see and feel the difference as soon as you start playing. And with all that being said, let's plug this guitar in and just see how it sounds. <laughs> today's video on the Dean Z exotic wood top guitar here. Once again, you cannot get these guitars anymore. You can only get them on the used market because of the lawsuit against Dean guitars from Gibson because the Z and the V look very similar to some of their guitars. 
Let me know in the comments below what you think of that, and let me know in the comments below what you think about these Dean guitars in general. And if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, consider subscribing. I have tons more videos like this on my channel as well, going over mods, setup tutorials, and how to install different hardware on your guitar as well, as well as tons of covers, lots of gear demos and things like that, and always tons of Pantera and tons of Dimebag content as well. Thanks for checking this video, and I'll see you next time.